This is New York Living on stage. A new one-woman show that started out pretty modestly on a small stage in Los Angeles has relocated to New York, courtesy of two very high-profile producers. Here comes Clover Lalazar has the story on the play Squeeze Box. I work a job that nobody wants. When I want a day off, there's nobody that'll cover for me, so I don't take days off. If I quit tomorrow, I could probably get my job back the following day. <laughs> Meet Ann Randolph, the star of Squeeze Box. Two years ago, the struggling actor-comedian scraped and clawed to bring her one-woman show to an L.A. stage. She was resourceful enough to cull the material for her performance from 10 years of work at a homeless shelter, but was afraid the play would go no further than its very modest West Coast staging. That is, until a pair of angels found themselves at a performance. Now, when I went, we went to see it, and I just was so bowled over by it, you know, I mean, I mean... When can you get a night when you laugh and you cry and you think and you feel and you, you know, so I, uh, I said to Mel, Mel, we have to do something to make this live. The Mel in question is Ann Bancroft's husband, Mr. Producer, and jack of all trades, Mel Brooks. She goes in and out of these characters, you know, and uh, she's a bit of a genius. I mean, she's, I've been around, you know, and I haven't seen so much talent in one person since I married Ann Bancroft, you know. <laughs> I gotta say that uh, these are two great hands, and I'm glad they've worked up together. While Mel Brooks is basking in the glow of his hugely successful Broadway musical, The Producers, it's Miss Bancroft's first foray into the producing ranks. I don't even call it producing. I just say I love it, that's all. You know, I mean, producing is far more complicated than anything I could do. But, but Mel and our, our friend Bob Silliman, uh, he, he also knows a lot about producing. So the two of them do that kind of, um, you know, intricate stuff. I just do the creative stuff. While Miss Randolph is certainly happy that her performance sparked such interest with the high-profile couple, on stage she still suffers from a bout of high anxiety. Ah! I'm nervous, scared. I just, I had a great time. This winter, production will begin on the musical movie version of The Producers while Mr. Brooks continues working on the stage version of Young Frankenstein. He's very encouraged by his wife's new endeavors. I am so thrilled that my wife is working and bringing in money. Squeezebox is playing at the Acorn Theater at Theater Row on West 42nd Street through October 17th. Clover Lalazar, New York One. Tell us a little bit about how you uh, got involved, you two got involved in Squeezebox, the Ann Randolph Show. A friend of ours, <clears throat> Sheila Clark, married to Ron Clark, who came to me with the idea to do Silent Movie, and then we wrote Silent Movie with Barry Levinson, and then we did, uh, we did High Anxiety. Anyway, this, this Ron Clark's wife's daughter, Melissa, told my daughter-in-law, Michelle, <laughs> about <laughs> Anne Randolph. Michelle said, uh, and, but Michelle said, but I, she's the one who really started because she went to school with Anne Randolph. Right. She went, went, and she said, so Michelle Brooks is the discoverer. And so everybody told us to see her at the Court Theater in, in, in Los Angeles. Angeles. And we ran, we ran down, and we said, okay, we'll do these kids a favor, you know. We're blown away, stunned, overcome with love and admiration and hilarity at Ann Randolph's performance. It's a doer topic. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a, it, on the face of it is, it's actually a, a show with a lot of laughs. Uh, it's, it's strange because it's, a, it's, it's about a homeless shelter and, right. and, and paranoid schizophrenics and all kinds of wacky people that, that she took care of and there's so many, but it's, it's, it's like one flew over the cuckoo's nest only with a more comedy, but I mean, it's great stuff. It's very moving, it's very right. touching. She plays many characters and she's brilliant at it and it, it's, my wife and she will be working, uh, writing the screenplay together. That you've optioned. Now, has yeah. films ever produced anything other than your own films? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Here. This, if you can, <laughs> this is the ad we're putting in for this Sunday. It's called Squeeze Box. It stars Ann Randolph, who's brilliant. And I, I know good. I know good. And in the, in the New York Sun, one word, hilarious. But it's a great review by Helen Shaw. No, that's in New York Sun, really. And, and WR Radio Original, funny and poignant. And the New York Times, Ann Randolph has a definite talent for sketch comedy. She lets everything go with her wildly expressive face, a deadpan demeanor. It's clear what producer Ann Bancroft saw in Squeezebox. 
So we're, we're crazy about this woman. And it's her debut as a producer as well, isn't it? Yeah, she's never produced. She said, I never wanted to produce anything, but I wanted... This woman is so talented, so yeah. gloriously gifted, both as a writer and a performer, that I wanted the world to see this. I thought Squeeze Box was a, a very rare work that is deep and profound and very sensitive. And just when you're on the cusp of, of being overcome with it, she delves into the underbelly of just stark hilarity of dirty everyday life. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then it's all better and that's what she leaves you with uh, this this cyclical thing she comes back to her mother's song and you think that everything's going to be all right and i thought it was wonderful squeeze box is funny it makes you just when you think you're going to be sad about something and go inside yourself about what's going on bam she just her timing is so good to, to take you back and forth from character to character i thought it was great She's a natural-born storyteller. Um, it's hilarious and it's poignant and makes you think, and that's good. <laughs> I'm Bob Matisoff. I'm here in Dayton, Ohio, and uh, I just came out of Squeezebox and saw Anne. And I'll tell you, I was enthralled. She has so much talent. She expresses herself so well, changing characters from literally second to second to second. And you can hear the buzz of the crowd in back of me because all 220 people in our wonderful little theater were enchanted by the performance she gave. I only hope that many other cities, many other venues can enjoy the thrill, the pleasures. We've just watched Ann Randolph brilliantly perform in Squeeze Box, the best thing that's ever come to Dayton, Ohio. Thank you for the evening. What did you think about this? I thought that her writing was, was excellent, and her insights into the people, and her empathy with the people. I thought it was a, a beautiful life journey uh, rendition, uh, and I thought that her use of her face to, to take on the various characters was, I thought she did it just beautifully. It's a very thought-provoking. Um, I, I, I will be thinking about this for quite some time. So, uh, yes, I will too be thinking about it for quite some time. And what, what really struck me about the, her performance was the way in which when, when we were introduced to or when we were listening to another character, it wasn't, oh, there's Anne portraying so-and-so and so-and-so. Mm -hmm. It was like another character was introduced and we had a chance to hear and see and respond. And it was just a wonderful performance. Just excellent. Yes. She became the characters, and we went right with her. I, I felt that we were with her every moment of the way. Uh -huh. yeah. And she had the, the language that, was, that typified each character and just brought it off beautifully.